Hello, Giant. I have one day off this week. And tomorrow I get my tattoo finished. So that's good. So we're going to do some farming and some cooking and some uh, some foraging. It's day 18, summer. Ring one. I think that means year one. What's the weather like? Sunny. Look at that. Wow. Sunny. Amazing. We're an advanced griller now. <clears throat> We're going to eat that whole fish. How y'all doing? What's today? Wednesday? It's today Wednesday. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> I was just testing you. <laughs> I'm glad y'all know what day it is. I got a new game in the mail. I got Fighting Force 2 on the Dreamcast. It's probably going to be bad. I was going to play it on PS1, but I need Dreamcast games. My Dreamcast is just sitting in the closet collecting dust. <clears throat> Another news, uh, I've sold $2,200 worth of video games. The funeral is about to begin. Hello. On eBay. <laughs> I came from work some 40 minutes ago. Long day. I am just going to chill a bit now. I hope you are well. Yes, I am. Thank you for 38 months. Appreciate it, Bulls Love. It's my chill time, too. <clears throat> We're eating fish. And steak. I'm becoming a real boy. Because I'm a robot in this game. I'm a robot learning how to cook. It is a chill game. <clears throat> Maybe too chill. We have a dog. It's disgusting. Put in the thing. There you go. We have a robot that does all of the watering. We don't know how to pick crops. So that's my job. Look at him go. It's a good box. Oh my god, so many. Alright. In the basket. Jeez. <laughs> Does it ever end? Oh my god, please. We could plant some more crops, but do I really want to?
I have to do more of this. Kind of tedious. <sighs> it's kind of like I'm just doing chores. take all day. Uh, no parents came to the meetings. I'm sure he can't pick crops. We've filled our basket for the first time ever. Crap. Give me basket. And they give you multiple baskets, like, why can't I just... Don't you think I could just reuse this one? Why would I need three baskets? It doesn't save any time. My guys didn't... Yep. Oh, I see. fields done. Just a few. Oh god, there's more peas. Never planting peas again. Someday camel's gonna go away. I'm not in a hurry. Yes, peace of mind. The stupid thing is there's nothing to spend this money on. So why am I doing this? Camel is dead. Hello, God guy. I feel like I'm gonna break my controller by pressing the button too many times. I'm gonna wear out the triangle button. Okay.
There we go. Would you believe this dog poops in my fields? Thankfully, I have a robot that cleans it up, though. That's right, it's your job, Gus, and clean up the dog poop. It's good to hear, Volslav. Herbal garden, sell flowers, ship all, finished. All right. I don't know what Lor Lorna Shore is. Well, I want to go. Here. I have a cat. It's already bedtime. Open. Oh, strawberries. <laughs> Your head is cut off. <laughs> That's pretty good. Hi, November. Futuristic Harvest Moon. That, this is actually a Harvest Moon game. Futuristic Harvest Moon. This game came out for the PSP. It was ported to the PS2. I'm becoming more human by the day. Not a single point into cooking. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Sunny? No, I don't think I am. I'm still a space cat. <laughs> I'm going to become Skynet soon. What are we going to do today? Hopefully there's not a billion crops to harvest. There's nothing I can really do to further the video game. Everything I can do is just make money. There are no quests. There are no relationships. There's no progression beyond numbers on the screen. I can make the numbers bigger. Isn't that what you do in all the games? Just make the numbers bigger? The game's trying to trick you into believing that making the numbers bigger is fun. That's what gaming's all about. Oh, except for in a pandemic. Okay. 
Ooh, commander. Red Rose is full. What the hell is this? Well, I'm a fan of that album. That's one of the greatest albums of all time, and has a whole lot of nostalgia for me. You know how many times I've had sex to that album? <laughs> it's pretty sexy music. I like that one and I like, what was it, Median or Midian? I think Midian was my favorite after that. I didn't like Cradle to, to Enslave. I didn't like anything between From Dusk and Midian, but Midian blew me away for some reason. <laughs> yep. Yeah, most games are about numbers. It's either numbers or environmental progression. You know, going from one level to the next. But in a way, that's just numbers. You just go from level one to level two. That's a poor argument, though. Hi, Zordon. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm not picking any strawberries today, okay? You can just forget it. Yeah, break inscriptions. Look at this way. Human Bitcoin Miner. But there's no glory in that, you know. If there was a leaderboard with world record Bitcoin Miner, then people would do it. We could go fishing. Oh, that's true. That's the evening bell. Pigs. I'd buy that for a dollar. This is a butt tree. I 
Those are horses. Oh, they're running! Wow. Let's go fishing. <clears throat> oh, didn't catch anything. No, you don't have to wait for a bite. You just push the button. It's not fun in this game because you don't even get to keep them. Yeah, it's not. It's just you push the button two times. You don't even wait for a bite. It's weird. I don't even know why I do it. I do it to make the numbers go up. See that 30? It means the numbers are going up. I thought about not playing this game anymore. There are more things to unlock. I'm like nearly through the summer in this game did spring almost done with summer i still haven't unlocked animals i think overall they represent my humanity like when we add to the stats it adds to my human level and i guess the overall goal is to become human uh, it's not really possible <clears throat> say that. I hope I get to link the fire at the end. Plunge the world into darkness. Alright, that's the end of Dark Souls. You either, you either put out the fire and plunge the world into the next age of darkness or you become the fire keeper and continue the cycle it's bad either way <laughs> Never extinguish the flame, huh? My favorite was uh getting my head chopped off in Bloodborne. That's my favorite from soft ending. <laughs> yeah. By the way, my fishing level is already at max. You like to give them a little examination, huh? Fishing bowl, 1268, three stars max. I'm at seven human, human stars. I need to work on my love and my humor. Maybe I gotta talk to people to up to level up my love. Secret ending. You mean like 
the moon moon thing yeah the moon thing fight the moon Shut up, moon, moon. <laughs> yeah, so me and Sierra, all we have left is Manus and Gwen in Dark Souls Soul Level 1. Calamite was the only challenge in the game. We had to get good and get a little lucky. Yeah, we did. I, I rather enjoyed it because we didn't have to try hard for the whole entire game. And finally we had to get good at something. Actually learn. Learn how to deal with every single move in every single situation. That was enjoyable. I mean, we got our silver pendants. If that's what you're talking about. He, he doesn't, you know, Calamite had tons of health and it was ridiculous. Like, we do way more damage to Manus. It's not going to be that bad at all. We don't have to survive nearly as long as Calamite. It's going to be nothing compared to Calamite. The only problem is the fighting game. Fighting game combo. We can dodge that a few times. He's dead. <clears throat> hey, Genesis. And then Gwen, we're just gonna full Havels. <laughs> That's how I always do it. I'm not good at parrying him. I probably will parry him some. I mostly just chug and hit. Chug and smack. The old chug and whack. And that'll be super easy just because, you know, you you have time to heal because you have another person Good way to fight Gwen, which is disappointing. You can either parry or you can hide behind pillars. It's really sad. Yeah. Just a couple more cookings. Dash Retro is doing his Angel of Darkness run right now. I want to watch, but you can watch the VOD. Same to me. More people to play it so I can watch because it's fun to watch people try to figure it out try to figure out all the stuff that I already figured out and or looked up I had to look I had to check the internet twice during that game which was sad two bosses I had to look up how to do it It's the most obtuse, obscure thing I've ever seen in a video game. Rainy all day. Alright. 
<clears throat> it doesn't matter if it rains or not in this game because robot does all the all the water in for me. Pineapples! Typically pineapples are worth big money in Harvest Moon games. And back to nature there, 500 apiece. The most expensive crop. Let's see, right now I have 57 grand and nothing to spend it on. Well, I kept it. Why aren't you playing Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness? Oh yeah, no wussies allowed. <laughs> yeah, sigh. today in this game. Same thing I did yesterday. I think I'll go talk to people in town today. <laughs> I enjoyed the game. Except for like one boss I couldn't figure out. And like one extraordinarily boring level. Other than that, it was fun. Hello, Bo, how you doing? It's all the crops for today. I really want to chop the boulders so bad. My hammer can't do it. Chop. Let's go to town. I'm doing good. I'm tired. It's uh, so much overtime this week at work. It's crazy. It's too much. Guess I don't really like to have fun. That's right. That's why I play video games. town. Let's go see the dock. We're gonna see the dock tomorrow anyway. I'm not looking for you, doc. Oh, there you are. Whatever. Now the game I'm making is going to be fun. It's already fun. The movement mechanics and the jumping around and stuff. It's already fun. Which I'm very happy about. Tree dinos, actually. Let's 
it's going to take forever to make it. But consistent progress is the goal. Consistent progress and learning. Oh, hi, cat. No early access. What can I buy in here? Give me something to spend my money on. Hello, Bulma. What should my hubby buy me today? Hello, Max. We can buy this. A balloon tent. We can sleep outdoors. I don't know what this thing's for, but... We're taking it. Oh, I wanted more than that. It only lets me buy one tent. I already have that. Hello, Kogito. It's a water gun. Thanks, kid. All it does is it waters the crops exactly the same as your watering can, but I don't need to water the crops because my robot does it. Basically, the water gun lets you water the crops without using any energy. But the robot does the water. Yeah, you better stop. I think it grabs crops, maybe? I mean, I, I can't think of what else it does. But I'm hoping you, like, throw it down a row of crops and it grabs all of them. I don't know how that would work. We'll find out. Cat, no. No. That is your sleeping spot. You don't. No. Hey. You better quit. I'll bite you. Houses look nice, but there's nothing to do in them. What's in here again? This is where they had the festival. There was a dance, but they didn't show it. It's like, it's time for the dance. Okay, festival's over. And I'm back home. This is the school. Hello. Why is there a horse running on the track? Rocky, you better stop. Hey. Quit. Quit being bad. Quit. Ow. There's nobody here. Savio, what's up? How you doing? Nobody here. I don't know how. Principal Rose. Yes, the mayor is concerned with the people of the village. Hello, mayor. Ow. 
get. Yeah, name change. The camel finally died. See electric. Bum, 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 bum. That's what we want to do. That's what we're taking donations for. I'm selling game collection, I'm working overtime, I'm saving money. And I'm gonna do it either the end of, you know, like, it's either gonna be September, September 2022, or September 2023. can make video games now that's something I've always wanted to do my whole life I studied it for a long time but the tools didn't exist like they do now I'm using Godot which is very good G-O-D-O-T open source free game engine it works very well It is primarily focused on 2D games, but you can make 3D games with it. Waiting for Godot. I want to taste some wine. Sub nerds, million, and Emma. I do have a Discord. You want to join the Discord? I have a channel in there where I talk about the game some, but mostly I just post pixel art that I've been working on. Last night, I made a dinosaur. Work in progress dinosaur. What is this camera, dude? Sparrow grass. Let's see. <clears throat> I 
There's a channel called T-O-A-T because the game is called Tears of a Tolanin. I sent you a link. I thought doing art was going to be like the really hard part, but it's really not. I mean, I've done art my whole life. I've never done pixel art. But it ain't hard. It does take some time, especially for the animation. But I like it. Tears of a tall Owenist. On Owenist? Tears of a Tolanin. Because my primary goal with the game is to make my friend Tolanin cry. <clears throat> so it's going to be a hard game. <laughs> What you doing, Abby? <clears throat> Guess I'll break some rocks. Put some ore in my bag. I'm tired too. But I'm off tonight, so. Probably be a lot of farming tomorrow. I really just want to get to the next stage of this game. I want to unlock whatever's next. When I either finish this game or have several days off to where, like. I can't like play this game for 10 hours in a row. You know what I mean? Go to bed. Sure, I'll get up early. I'm ready to go, but I don't want to slow down on this game. I want to get this done. I'm gonna pass out in two hours. So I was at the store yesterday, grocery store, and I saw some cheese. And the cheese said it contains jalapeno, habanero, and Carolina Reapers. And I'm like, oh, yes. Finally, something that says hot, and it's actually hot. <laughs> it's not lying this time. Man, it is hot. I got the wrong kind of crackers though. I got rice crackers, which are good. They don't go well with cheese. It's probably hot. It's hotter than I thought it was going to be. Like, club crackers are probably the best for cheese. Club crackers or saltines are like the best for tea with cheese. But uh, they have these jalapeno club crackers. 
they're really good. How much money do we have today? 61,000. Alright. Oh yeah, boomerang! do anything? Oh, read it. Uh, I don't know what it does. <laughs> yes, shake it. It says it can be used in the field, so, but like, what would you do with it? It doesn't make any damn sense. Learn to make rain in a, in my video game. I need to make a note because not just rain, but other weather too, right? Maybe. Weather. Windy. Definitely not doing windy to where like, you know, it pushes you around because that shit's annoying in video games. Hi, cat. Rain and snow the same, yeah. You just do the, the snow slower. Meteor shower, that sounds good. Ice phys physics will definitely be a thing, but I'll make them fun. There are fun ice physics. Occasionally in video games. Here's what makes ice physics fun. Number one, um, you have to be able to run immediately. You don't like slowly start moving and then go faster. Like you need to, you need to be able to, to get moving as quickly as you do normally. And, and of course it takes longer to, to slow down. Otherwise, it wouldn't be ice physics. But also, I think you go faster than you run once you get going. 
So you can use that to, to have some fun, like, precision platforming where you gotta maintain momentum. But, you know, sta going from a, you know, standing still to, you know, as long as you start off moving fast, and as long as you can ju also, another key factor is jump to, to stop the momentum. You can jump and play, you can just not press any direction and just jump and you'll immediately stop all momentum and just reset it. Jump King does that, for example. I also have to do at least a little bit of a uh, grappling hook. Because I learned from Silver Grapple that grappling hooks can be super duper fun. And challenging. And it would also be fun to figure out uh, the physics of how that works. This is a this is telephone trees. Perfectly normal. Silver grapple was fun to play. We had ice in Texas. I know, I'm in Texas. <laughs> I'm in East Texas. We didn't have water for two to two or three days. But I only lost power for like a couple of hours. Start moving as fast as normally, jump to stop instantly, yes. Fast run ice, yes, but also it takes longer to slow down. It's those two things, fast run ice and takes longer to stop the momentum. I can't have you go, okay, I can't have you going from zero to run the same as regular because if you're going one way on the ice and then you turn around you can't like as soon as your momentum stops run the other direction that would be unnatural so there has to be a small build up in speed but the smaller it is the more fun it is Well, the key, Costin, the key will be that you have to be going fast to make it to the next jump. The speed will be required for the platforming. And so it'll flow. The, uh, the challenge will not be in trying to stop. The challenge will be in you need, you have to keep going. So it'll be a whole sequence of speed jumping. You know what I mean? And it'll even be like, you know, you don't gain momentum when you're in the air. So it'll be like there's a small patch of ice for you to run on. You get a little bit of momentum. You jump onto another ice, short ice platform. So you get a little bit more momentum. And then another short ice section and you get a little bit more momentum. So you're building up speed as you're jumping from ice to ice until you're going maximum speed. And then, you know, maybe it gets crazy from there. Possible ice skates, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, not not stat upgrades, not like uh, you know earned upgrades, but you know yes as far as items. Hello, Sarger, how's it going? What's up? Yes, I am definitely focused on making the platforming and the movement fun, and I'm already happy with what I've got. The movement is already fun. It's already fun running and jumping around. Because you have, for, for 
a couple reasons. Number one, you run fast, which if you run fast in a platformer, that's step one. And uh, the other thing is the double jump. And you know, of course, it's based on how long you hold down the button. You jump higher or, or, sh or lower. Um, but also, uh, you can fall off a platform and then jump, right? You can fall off a platform and double jump. So you will never have the problem where you run up to the edge of the platform and try to jump and you can't because you're like this, this much, you know, you're this much off the platform technically. So you can double jump in the air. But only two jumps. You bunny hop by just tapping the jump and holding move forward. I mean, I guess. I don't see why not, right? <clears throat> Some bonus places if you make the momentum jumps correctly. Yeah, this it'll be required in this game. I don't think there's really any... I don't, I don't think I'm really going to focus on... Um, like optional bonus areas or optional secret. I don't, I don't have any rewards to give the player. You know, for making it to a t through a... To doing things a tougher way than is required. I'm just gonna have to do it the hard way. It's all gonna be the hard way, or no way, you know? Normally double jump allows only one additional jump in the air regardless if you got into the air in the first place by jumping or falling. Right, well this one you get two, you get a double jump even if you fall. You can fall off a platform, jump, jump. The other thing you can do, because, for example, Bashi, I want to be the Bashi has a double jump, right? You can't fall off and then double jump. But what happens is you get close to the edge, if you're too close to the edge of the platform and you jump once, you're not going to have a double jump because you're too close. You're, you're technically off the platform when you jump the first time. You can mitigate that by um, extending, like you have a certain amount of time once you're off the platform. Like it's, it's a thing that some games do where, you know, you can jump from a little bit further than the edge of a platform. Doom Eternal does this. Yes, Sartre, the artist formerly known as Camel. The, the Camel finally died. Yes. Hi, Lewis. What's up? Lewis made it here too. Yeah. I keep having people come in and say, I didn't thought you quit streaming. God damn it. All the Assassin's Creed do that. Yeah, a lot of games do that. Well, it's needed, <laughs> especially in, in hard platformers. You know, if it's noticeable in a game like Assassin's Creed, then it can be annoying. But in this game, you can double jump from falling, so I just bypass the problem completely. Double jumping is fun. Falling and then double jumping is fun. I don't care, like... I don't care if it's not like other games or anything. It's it's fun to do. I like doing it. It's fun. What's up, Moon? How you doing? Hold on. Let me... Got Just Cause 3 when it came out years ago and it was so broken it would just crash every five minutes. Got it on Steam three days ago and it's still broken and crashes every five minutes. <laughs> Uh. <clears throat> dive kicking and I, I'm gonna have to one thing I'm gonna have to do is like a 
a dash or a slide or something where you can go faster for a short distance, but it might be just an attack. And plus, you know, double jump after fall can can lead to some really cool challenging platforming too. Space Cat, yes. Sprint? No, he runs fast enough already. He runs fast. Like you don't you're not gonna wanna run faster. He's 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 he's, he's a goer. Cat, why are you biting me? He's a mover. Eldest souls? No. Cat really wants to bite me right now. You want to fight and bite? <clears throat> you want to fight and bite? Now. Ah. Damn it. Ah. Ow, he's scratching the... Ah! Ah, the foot. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Ah. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Ah. Abby's trying to make me play an adventure game. Dark Souls type boss rush, huh? Well, I think I did. Yeah, I did see that. I think I watched a review or something. Yeah, but it's a good adventure game. It's by Double Fine, and Double Fine sucks. Everybody loves Double Fine. They suck. Clip the bite, fighting, biting cat. Ow! Oh, look at those claws. Eesh. <laughs> Ow! Cat abuse. More like human abuse. Yeah, hand abuse. Ugh. He does. He always wants to throw down. There's... There's three things this cat likes. Fighting, biting, and water. Oh, I didn't update the list. You're gonna let me have Ka Kazmat, right? Kazmat's coming back? You have to let me have Kazmat, because you picked all the other ones. Oh, he loves biting fresh tattoos. He hasn't messed any up, though. Let you update list? No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> the power. You don't need it. Hey, bananas. Look at that. I bought three bunches of bananas yesterday. I still need to chop them up and put them in the freezer, though. Banana. Banana. Yep, that's what he's that's what he does. Give me that tattoo. No more room for bananas. Alright. I'm getting a tattoo finished tomorrow. Zabonger! 
Yeah, good job, Twitch. <laughs> damn it. God damn it, Twitch. How dare you? I've seen, like, fucking McDonald's ads on here where it's, like, Twitch streamers eating McDonald's and being like, Oh, it's so good. I'm so happy. This is so good. Mmm. I was hungry. This is great. Jesus fucking Christ, dudes. A message from Dr. Hope. Oh, it's time for my maintenance. Oh. How you been, bunkers? Veganism doesn't exist on Twitch. But I'm, I'm vegan. I guess I don't exist. Totally not rat infested. Mm. Masami, who? Who's Masami? The volcano! The Banks Corporation is finally going to start construction at the volcano. There's a good chance that the volcano will erupt. Could be this year, could be the next. That's what my data indicates. It's alright if I ask Frick Boy. Frick Boy, have you already met the hermit who lives by Mermaid Lake? Yes. There are three spirits who live on this island. The water spirit, forest spirit, fire spirit. Okay. This is the anger of the fire spirit that is threatening to make the volcano erupt. Water and forest spirit are happy that you're working to revive the Easter ruins. But as for the fire spirit, once its anger is provoked, it only grows stronger and stronger. The only thing that can stop it is the water spirit. We're going to give you something that I have been guarding for many years. It better be something water related because I gotta go take that to the witch. She wants a water thing. Oh, a red jewel. Okay, thanks. Ah, the crest of the water spirit. Bring that to the hermit. Oh, you're talking about the witch. Yes, okay. Alright. See, everything is gated off by time in this game. You just gotta keep playing it. Just You just gotta spend days doing whatever. Waiting for the next... You know, it's weekly that something unlocks. In the meantime, you just harvest some crops, make some money you'll never spend. Go fishing for fish you can't keep. But it's so worth it. The crest of the water spirit. Okay, so it's the door in the cave. That's what we're doing. Yeah, exactly. Why? I'm gonna save the island. It's my job. He seems to be affecting the doctor's cat. Oh no! Flame Island. Yeah, I want to know what that... There's a tower in the middle of the lake. Alright, we're done here. Yeah, squirt water it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna go buy a water gun. Alright, we gotta go home, place the red jewel. That'll unlock a door in the mines. Well, water, the rain doesn't seem to be affecting me much.
Yeah, that's robotism. <laughs> I missed you, Lewis. Glad you found your way here again. <coughs> Lewis is my old friend. I saw Halloween Kills. It was alright. I mean, what do you want? It's a Halloween movie. <clears throat> we got to see lots of people get killed. Seventy-four months and nine days. Jeez. <laughs> I've only been streaming for you followed me when I'd been streaming for four months I think I've been streaming for 78 months can I do followage for myself I'm not following myself you loved the first one. You mean ha the first Halloween movie? <laughs> like. <laughs> the first one? You can't follow yourself, unfortunately. All right. <clears throat> Red Jewel. So this should be the last Red Jewel. One, two, three. Boom! Four. Yes. Now, tomorrow, I can do the things. So we're going to bed. Yeah, the hospital scene was terrible, man. It was so awful. Yeah, that was, it was so bad. <laughs> Once we got to that point in the movie, it was just, ugh. It was really bad. There was some good killing. Check your info for when you started streaming. I know when I started streaming. I'm not streaming long today, but I'm off tonight. So I'll be streaming like in the middle of the night, Lewis. I'll pro I got to stream until, well, I messaged the tattoo artist. I'm supposed to go in there at 10 a.m. Tonight I'll stream... I'll start probably like 2 or 3 a.m., which is like 9 or 10 European time a.m. Shut up, moon, moon. All right, we got stuff to do today. I mean, come on. What about the, you know, killing all those firefighters? That was cool. Right? That was cool. I don't want more fields to farm. It's already too much. The cat spraying with the garden hose. Yes. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I still need to watch Dune, but like, I really want to pay attention whenever I watch it. I can't just half-ass watch it like I do most movies these days. So I'm waiting until I really feel like paying attention. That movie probably gonna be good. The 2K characters, yes. <laughs> God of War 4? Is that the. Is that the no one? I don't like God of War games, though. The dad of boy game? I probably wouldn't like it. Looks good, though. No, I don't half-ass play the game. 
Oh my god, I almost beat Slay the Spire Ascension 20. With Strength Guy last night. It was so close. Ascension 20 is the hardest in the game. In Slay the Spire. And the main thing is at the end, you have to fight two boss, two final bosses in a row. And I almost got it done. I was like one, maybe two turns away. I might have been able to do it if I survived the turn that I was on. It was sad. Alright, real quick. Come pick these flowers. Ten roses, three thousand. Take it. Alex ain't been streaming really. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Wait, I want to try this way first. Yeah, you know Alex. This is what he do. He gets distracted. Mostly with girls. Uh, I can't drop my thing in here. Boom, boom, boom. The afternoon bell rings at 10 a.m. It's stupid. Open the fucking door! I don't. Thanks for stopping by, Lewis. Hope to see you soon. I gotta get that water crest. Make a salad with it. That was a food joke. All right, so another thing that I want to do with uh, the game I'm making is I want to make a you know primarily the game is a platformer, but. I want to do different gameplay styles, maybe like in between levels. Like have a short shoot 'em up section, or a short boating section, or just something, right? Mainly so I can learn all different types of things, because this whole game project is learning, um, but also to break up the platforming. Because it's going to be similar platforming throughout, probably. With a lot different graphics for different levels and different enemies. But the platforming will probably feel mostly the same. It's not going to be very gimmicky. It's mostly going to be solid fundamentals, so it might be a little samey. Which, for me, is perfectly fine, but... I want to have interludes. There was another door, I think. Mm, optional content. I mean, if this was a like a major game release, I would agree. But since this is my first game and an indie game, don't do it, says Costin. <laughs> Everybody hates the idea. Yeah, well, anything to make Tolanen cry. Dude, these doors are sealed shut! I 
want to look it up. What door can I open now? I understand, yeah, yeah, yeah. However, let's take, for example, Wings of V and the, the, uh, the level where you're falling and you gotta dodge rockets and stuff. It's a totally different play style, but it does fit in the game. I will definitely be uh, keeping that in mind. I gotta at least make it all feel cohesive, even if it's a different style. That's the key, right? Cohesion. Oh, there ain't gonna be no puzzles. Damn. I need to find a door I can open. Yes? I think I already went this way. Yep. I got you. All makes sense. Sealed shut. They're all sealed shut. I'm pretty sure I already explored all of this. We can also keep in mind that the interludes will most likely not be difficult. Rocket's going crazy. He's rocketing. There it is. We found it. Too bad it's bedtime. 
Yes, the Easter Hammer! That means I can break those big stones. Awesome. Get out of my field. Yeah, yeah. The primary focuses are cohesion, cohesion, also make them fun, and not make them difficult, because difficult platforming, interspersed with not all that difficult other sections. Well, you know, I am taking plenty of inspiration from Wings of V and I Want to Be the Bashi. Which both have similar things going on. There, my game is not going to be that hard. A definite inspiration. Hmm, maybe Rabby Ribby. The only real inspiration to get from Rabby Ribby is the variety of movement and attacks. That's that's too high level for me. Hi, Dominator. Solo dev. I might pay somebody to make music. I can do the programming and the graphics. And the level design. Battle Kid? I've seen a little bit of it. Battle Kid games take tons of inspiration from the I Wanna Be the games, you know? Battle Kid is like a mixture of Mega Man and uh, I Want to Be the Bashi. Yeah, I've seen them. They look good. So many jewels. Might have been one more path I did not take here. Let's see if I can find it. I know there's at least a couple doors I can't open yet. As far as starting out, all you gotta do is 
download Godot and follow along with a with a tutorial on YouTube on YouTube. It's it's you know it's rather simple. It just takes time to learn the interface, learn basically how the engine works. And you're kind of off to the races. If there's any specific thing you want to do, you can either figure it out or just Google it and people have answers. Plus there's a, uh, a Discord for it where, you know, they have, which is very active and they have people just asking questions all the time. Questions and answers constantly. But the basics are not difficult. It just takes a little time to learn. Like, even if I don't know how to do something specific, I know basically how to do it. I just don't know the details of how to do it. I know how, like, things are arranged and put together and how they communicate with each other how to get one thing to affect another thing yeah you certainly can use GZ Doom to make first person shooter Then, why don't you just make Doom maps? Mod some monsters and some weapons. Hello, peeps. We are trying a hundred year old concentration camp guard. I mean, if it was just a guard. Blame him for Hitler, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, Godot is not one of those. <laughs> you just put in the graphics and you're done. It is fully featured. But, you know, you could get, like... You could get open source things, you know, open source like framework for what you wanted to do. Anyway, I don't know why anybody would want to do any of that. If you want to make a game, learn how to make a game. Thank you, peeps. It's gonna happen. It's just a matter of how long it's gonna take. I would love to do it September 2022 when this lease is up in this apartment. Uh, but I can't save enough before then. If Twitch helps, then I can go 20, 2022. If not, oh, I can, you claim to be gay, do you? If not, I can save enough by September 2023. One day you'll make a Metrovania? Do it. You better get started. <clears throat> can I be your butler in the mountains? We can make a sitcom. <laughs> Yeah, you have you have to scoop the litter box though. That's your your main job. And you got to be the cat scratching post. <laughs> Episode one. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>
Get going already, he ain't that young. Shit, I'm 43, I can start now. But I mean, I started a long time ago. I've always done art and I've always done programming. I've always learned programming. I haven't always done it, but I've uh, I've learned it multiple times throughout the years. My mind knows how programming works. I just need to know some syntax and off I go, you know. <laughs> no, he he left track. <laughs> Look at that, I can break these stupid rocks. Get out of here! Well, oh, that's fantastic. I'm gonna have clean fields finally. Alright, we gotta go to bed. And then we're gonna take the water crest to the witch in the morning. Unless there's a storm tomorrow. There better not be a stupid storm tomorrow. Sunny! Alright, good. Well, GD script, uh the structure is built into the uh the code itself. Like indenting is required. Proper indenting is not optional. Like if you make a function, you indent everything below that. If you make a for loop, you know, you have to indent, you know, it's required. Commenting isn't required, of course, but structuring is. Well, you know, structuring as far as like, say for example, constants or capital letters, you know, regular variables start with a capital letter, you know, descriptive, that sort of thing, you know. Yes, it is very similar to Python. Exactly. I did that on purpose, so the people that know Python already can just transition immediately, very quickly. It's annoying more than cool. <laughs> I like it. You don't have to worry about semicolons like you do in C, you know? And it keeps everything clean without you having to make sure- Get the fuck off my tomato! Keeping it clean is required, so you don't have to do it yourself. Yes, that too. But the enforced syntax style does help structure it in this case. Fuck semicolons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all those brackets and parentheses. Spent two hours to look for one you missed. Yeah, Godot also has a very good uh, debug capability for that sort of thing. How you doing, Zokun? Doing good here. We're making progress. We're going to see the witch. Right? We got the, uh... Okay, we can put away the regular... Let's put these... Okay, we got two purple, two orange, three red. Where have I put the jewels so far? This is purple over here. Uh, empty lines are okay in GD script. I 
I still need another purple. Right here. That's gonna be yellow. I guess I'll do... Orange here. No, blue. This is blue. Oh, what does orange do? Mature very quickly. Water retention is same as usual. Don't forget the water. Well, I'm not doing the watering. Orange. This is yellow. This one out and putting it down here where I can see it. All right, yellow, you go in there. Okay. Now we're going. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people who learn these tools or learn coding just learn what they think of as the bare minimum and they don't learn their tools properly that's a good theme Zokun yeah and that's one reason I want to do a variety of gameplay in my game is so I can learn a lot of different things rather than just the primary thing that I'm doing. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> Only learn what they think they need to learn. What's it about? It's about making Tolan and cry. A lot of it's about, well, it's a guy from Finland. It's about Finland. It's about difficult platforming. Level one is a forest level. Level two, I think, is gonna be underground. So like, level one, it's open. Uh, there's small platforms that you hop to. Um, you know, blue sky, trees, and flowers, and grass. And it's going to be very open, but level two is going to be underground where there will be a lot more ceilings and things. And possibly lava, things like that, fire, fire and darkness and low ceilings. Weapons, I don't really know yet. He might have a kick to start off with. I don't know if, there's, if he's gonna be fighting in level one. Might not be till the end of level one. You might, I don't know. We'll see. It might be dodging at first for a little while till you learn the, the platforming. Then we'll give you a weapon, maybe. Crest of the forest spirit and give it to the mermaid. What? 
What fucking mermaid? The water spirit wakes up and put the fire spirit crest on the altar of ice. Rouse the giant force. The tower in Mermaid Lake where the crest of the water spirit must go is connected to the giant... Okay, I know where now. A nuke launcher. Great idea. Atom splitter. I want to go there. That's the ultimate where we need to go. Okay, um... We need to go to that misty area, probably. I don't remember where it is. I might have got to it this way before, though. What is here? Ah, oh, the mushroom forest. Okay. I know where that is. Black Hole General. Is that in Duke Nukem 3D? The fuck is that? Oh, hello. <laughs> she ain't got no nibbles. I pity you, life form. You're caught in the middle of an ancient feud. And if the water spirit wishes that the way be open to you, then so be it. You may enter the giant forest. However, I can only clear the mist forest. The rest is up to you. Go now. The path is open for you. Thanks, titties. I mean, mermaid. Whoa. Hi, Kyle. Door is sealed shut. Great. Well, we can't go that way. What does this say? Mermaid Lake. Lake. Mass Effect 2. Oh, okay. I played that game. All right, the mist is cleared. How do we get to the mist? That was moon? No, it wasn't. <laughs> no. Hi, Nascor. A giant titty mermaid. A giant mermaid with titties. Uh, they weren't giant. She was giant. Not a hands no. It was definitely not. Well, I do have a tent that I can camp in. Now I gotta find the misty forest again. Is it down here? It was one of the... Wait, that was locked, isn't it? Yep. Sounds like a dust devil. You mean like one of those vacuums? <laughs> Don't be dissing my ATV. Come on, there's another way to go. Where is it? Where is it? Through the first door, right?
Damn it. Okay, um... This game has giant areas to explore, more than any Harvest Moon game. It was this way, wasn't it? Was it? Yes, okay. It's the path next to the cave. Got it. It's getting late. We gotta go to bed. We should be getting some sleep. Oh my god, my tent is not on me. It's at, it's in my item box. No camping out for me. Yeah, we're not that far. Go to sleep. Got a big day tomorrow. Go, 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 go. Oh, wait. I got to watch TV. Dorothy's Cooking Life Part 9. Hello, Dorothy Grimley here. This week on Cooking Life, we're going to talk about baking. Even people who cook often will sometimes say that they don't bake much. But if you use your oven well, you'll find that a new world of cakes, cookies, and breads open up to you. I, I made some bread the other day. And it's really not hard to do. You just have to prepare the ingredients, put them in the oven, and wait. Of course, this means that the preparation stage is very important, as is the temperature of your oven. Still, if you've been watching Cooking Life all this time, it should be easy for you. Your oven will adjust its temperature itself, so you just have to put in the food at the proper time. Why not try baking a meat or fish dish along with some vegetables to go on the side? See you next week. Enjoy your cooking life. How about some drama? Melancholy Woods, Part 2. Suddenly, our luck changed. I was still young at the time, and there was no one who would explain exactly what was going on. But I could tell that the atmosphere at our house had changed. I still remember that. My father rarely came home. My mother stopped smiling. My brother and sister always hoped that they would see my mother or father smile, but they never did. We lived in this tense atmosphere for some time until... To be continued. Wow, what a show. How about some anime? Currently off the air. All right, well, no anime this week. Shit. Till mom killed them all. I don't want to harvest all these crops. Fuck. Do your chores. You don't get to play until you do your chores. Harvest your stupid lemons. I have 78 grand, nothing to spend it on. Shut up and do your chores, jackass. Game has harvest in the damn title. It does! That's all I do. I want to make do your chores. Oh, mom. I bet no Roto's on. Ugh. 
is progressing time based. Uh, it's based on like your Sunday visits with the doc. That's when things progress. So yeah, time based, I guess you could say. Week based. Week. Exactly. Can anybody tell me what I'm harvesting right now? The hell is this thing? It looks like one of those puffy marsh, uh, puffy uh, uh, mushrooms you see in your yard after it rains. Melons, yeah, I guess so. It's like a honeydew or some shit. I don't like melons. Fun fact about Commander Space Cat, doesn't like melons. Snackies! Does like snackies. Gaston likes big juicy melons. Abby likes big juicy melons with lemon juice. Big sweaty balls of the fruit. <laughs> of course, of course. Fruit. Why didn't that one work? Here, I'll do it for you. Bruh. You were on cooldown. Oh my god, it's already 1.30. I hate being a farmer. At least we're wrapping it up. You know, like it's day 25 of fall. I'm not replanting any of these. Scale pack, goodbye. Resources, yes, goodbye. Go! We're going! Cat. Alright, we gotta hit the path next to the mine to enter the other mine to find the Misty Forest. It's already getting late. I didn't bring the tent. I forgot it again. Alright, we're going to try door number one. Can it please be door number one? It is door number one. Excellent. I have no idea, Abby. Alright, fine. More treasure chest. Monsoon watering can. Nice. 
That's the high level watering can. This chest is sealed with a ma myst mysterious power. That's stupid. Can't even go over, over a log bridge. I know, right? Sealed with a mysterious power. Hmm. Sealed with a mysterious power. Is this a Zelda forest? You know this is a Zelda forest. It's not though. It's not a Zelda forest. Now it's a Zelda forest. Hmm. Oi! Nature spirit of knowledge. I'm a friend of the mermaid. Maybe I know where the forest spirit is sleeping. The nature spirit of friendship. We gotta find the nature spirit of remembering. He went somewhere far away. The bad news is time is ticking down. I gotta find that little gnome dude. We've explored the upper path completely. Now we've explored the lower path completely. We're gonna have to come back tomorrow. But I know exactly how to get there. Said he went somewhere far away. Well, what a great hint. Somewhere far away. I don't know if I'm gonna get any clues. Hello, Baden. But yeah, I don't know what happens if I don't sleep or, or stay out all night or whatever. I don't want to find out. But knowing this game, it would be completely and totally forgiving. This game doesn't let you fail. Like if you run out of energy and you, and you try to work, it'll just say you don't have any energy. You don't just fucking pass out like in other games. Game over. Save deleted. But hey, I got some more. No, I didn't get any more thingies. I got this. Show it to the nature sprites. Yeah, well, they need me to find the other nature sprite. Forget the tent. Okay, let's get the tent. Give me the tent. Put away regular. No, wait. I don't need the watering can anyway. I'm never going to water anything ever. Uh, the regular hammer. Iron hammer. Yeah. Anything else? No. I got an item, balloon tent. There we go. 
Sorry, but this stream is ending. But I'm off tonight. So for you, there will be a morning stream tomorrow. For hopefully five or six hours. Then it's getting my tattoo finish time. Yeah, sorry, a little late. I've been working so much lately, it's stupid. Way too much. But we're getting this tattoo finished. Oh. See this, uh, there's a lot of green in it. There's some nice greens. Oh. Let's see here. Got this thing. Right? And we're putting stuff below it. Down there. I can't control this backwards upside down webcam. Alright, anyway. There's that thing. Well that's that's been several months ago, but it was a cover-up, but uh, we got to add some more stuff to it. Yes, it is all scritched up from Rocket. I don't think it'll be a problem for the tattoo, but if it is, there's other stuff we can work on. One of my goals is to... get uh, any old tattoos fixed up. 